Peace and blessings, everyone. This is my little bit of story of my seven years of locks, how it all began and how it's all transcended up until now. This has definitely been a journey full of ups and downs, highs and lows, but I wouldn't change it for the world. So here we go. It all began with wigs, weaves, coloring, dyes, um, hair traumas, well, traumas to my hair, split ends, but you know, I was just trying to follow the trends of the world and society and what, you know, I thought would look good at the time. Around this time was when I was deciding that it was time to make a change. You know, I liked having, you know, hair and, you know, colors and all this different stuff, but I knew that this wasn't all there was to this world that there was something better for me. So I decided it was time to make a change. So, yep, I did it. I did the big chop, cut off the majority of my hair and was ready for the big twist. I had a girl who, you know, I knew she could do it pretty good. So I was like, okay, let me try this out. I don't care. I have nothing to lose. So then I was at her shop and she did a little twist to my hair and I'm like, okay, this is cool. I'm like, this doesn't look like locks because I had this idea of what locks were supposed to look like because I didn't realize that there was a multitude of hair types and hair textures and I wasn't even informed at that time of what to expect. I knew my locks didn't look like what most people's locks look like. I was like, wait a minute now, this is like Shirley's Temple Curls. <laughs> I'm like, I got to do something. You know, I don't know. So I'm like, okay, I just put on a little lipstick because I was in my little makeup thing at that time. And I'll put on my earrings and I'll be out. <laughs> and then they began to grow. And I was feeling really, really happy because I'm like, okay, what's going to happen now? They were not staying they were not like permanent. They were coming out every five seconds, but they were starting to grow. My hair was growing. It was thickening and it was doing something. It was doing something different than what I expected it to do. So, you know, I continued to get it twisted and I'm like, OK, it's starting to form something that looks similar to locks. I think this is what locks are supposed to look like. So <laughs> here we go. And but there was still those little curls and I'm like, OK until they started to start locking officially. Some of them did, some of them didn't. There were different textures. Some were thicker, some were thinner. Um, they, were, they were growing in their own pace and stuff and my hair was changing a lot and I didn't know what to expect at this time. So I did what Dawn does and what Dawn does is she throws on a flower, some earrings and she rocks it. And they were coming to loose sometimes, especially if they got wet. At this time, it was hard to keep it, you know, like in this form somewhere, but some were not. So I had to just go with it, y'all. So I had to be patient and love my locks because I didn't know, like, you know, I've been used to having long hair and, you know, being able to, you know, do different things to it. And I wasn't used to this at all. But I had to be patient and just accept it and what is and be ready for what was going to be. So, yes, your girl did her thing. You know, I was on the cruise. This is me on the cruise and I was excited, you know, but my hair was doing some weird stuff. But you know what? All I needed was a flower, some earrings, some cute sunglasses. And I was I was doing me, you know, some were locking, some were not. And I was traveling, um, living life, and my locks were growing with me. As I was growing and changing, so was my locks. You know, um, this was still in the very beginning, so I still was just, you know, trying to figure it all out. And I guess this next picture, this right here is what I, some call the baby, baby locks when they're still forming. They're thickening up and they were starting to lock at least at the root they were, not at the end. So it was, it was a weird time, but you know what I did mean? And it got better and it got better 
and my locks grew. Some kept those same little curls from the beginning. Some started to straighten out. And I'm like, okay, because you can see in this picture, some were more locked than the others. Some had twists, but you know what? I do me with my little flower and, you know, <laughs> make it work. Because I love my locks and everybody's lock journey is different. Everybody's story is different. Everybody's hair is going to do different things. So you got to just be patient and just go with it. You know, um, some people aren't willing to take this time and the energy to do it, but it's all worth it because once they start to come together, once they finally lock up and you start feeling really good, you can do different things to it and stuff, you know. Um, at this point, I started adding a little bit of color to it. Um, so I was like going for my little brown look, you know, or light golden brown. And I was feeling pretty good about it. And my locks grew as I've grown. You know, it's been seven years and I've enjoyed the journey. My hair has changed me. It's been through different phases. I could write a book about what I've been through in these seven years. I even went through the experience of um, it getting up, getting damaged because of I don't use hair dye anymore because I had an allergic reaction. And I realized that I will never, ever use hair dye again. I'll use some henna. I'll do some henna. And actually, I've done some henna. I was new pictures of that coming soon. But I will never use hair dye again because I just know it's not good for my hair. But to each their own. This is my journey. And I hope that, you know, everybody enjoys their journey who's on the lock transition. And here we are now, seven years lock anniversary, 12-2 to 12-2, 2018. Feeling good, feeling vibrant, and loving my natural hair. Peace and blessings.